Hello, my name is Wes Dawson, and I would like to welcome you back to another episode of Gabagool Nate. And of course, this week's episode will be Gabagool Nate Frequency Part 2. So, unless you are a complete degenerate, immoral piece of human trash, you should recall episode 44 of Gabagool Nate, where I detailed how during a home renovation process, I found an old walkie talkie hidden within the walls. So, over the next few days, I would hear this radio, this walkie talkie, making a strange chatter coming from it. I wasn't quite sure what it was, only to find out it had been possessed by some kind of paranormal, or for lack of a better word, magical properties. So in episode 44, I managed to contact myself 30 years into the future. And that's why for this week's episode, we'll be using this walkie-talkie yet again, except we'll be jumping a little bit further ahead in time, approximately 1,500 years into the future, to see what type of dystopian apocalyptic hellscape people are living in. Now, I am very excited to see what the future holds and who, if anyone, I will be speaking with. Because you see, this is not a sure science. It's not a guarantee that it will work. And because you've heard it on the internet, you know it is 100% true and authentic. Some people say, hey, this plot sounds quite a bit like the 2000 film Frequency starring Dennis Quaid. And I say, shut up. Most people don't remember that movie. So either way, if you have any issues with this or any other statements herein, I will invite you to do your own research. Of course, which is a blanket statement for blocking your ears and going, no, 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 I can't hear you. But you're welcome to do so. And one of the main reasons I wanted to venture further into the future is because times are changing. People are so divided right now. There's so much vitriol online. And it's just the, the very fabric of society is changing. And I don't know if that's good or bad, you know, with the introduction of the Internet, which in my opinion is not only the single greatest, but also the worst invention of mankind. All right. So let's give it a try. Let's see what this radio can do. Y yes. Hello. Th this is Wes Dawson. Can you hear me? Yes, hello. hello, who am I talking to? Obviously you're talking to yourself, you twit. Who else would have this magic walkie-talkie on hand? Wait, it, if it's like approximately 3523, how are you even alive? Or how are we even alive? Well, by the year 2105, medical advances have allowed for certain mega-celebrities to attain services to extend their quote-unquote natural lives. Wait a minute, 2105, we'd be dead of a natural death by then anyway, and how the F are we mega-celebrities? Well, basically identity theft and a lot of, um, how would I say, hands-on work, if you know what I mean. Ooh, identity theft, that's, that's a serious crime. No, identity theft of legal persons isn't really a crime nowadays, uh, only if it's done so in the metaverse. Uh, I've existed primarily as an NFT for roughly the past 1,200 years, and hey, it's a pretty satisfying life. NFTs, Jesus Christ, people are still paying for these overpriced shitty clip arts? Oh yeah, it, it's basically replaced currency. So you're telling me humanity has not gotten any smarter? Oh no, way dumber. Way dumber. Uh, what about all this toxic shit online? You know, like condoned racism, uh, people too dumb to understand how dumb they are, all the hatred, the, these BS fucking prank videos or people just being generally shitty to each other. Well, now cell phone cameras are used more for real issues of social injustice, uh, mainly to keep police in check. The whole standing around gawking at people and filming shit or watching while people are just general shitheads to each other started disappearing roughly around 2102. All right, well, if people are still generally shitty to each other, what, what has changed? Why aren't they filming this? Well, you see, the Less Filming, More Backhanding Act of 2098 gave citizens the legal right to violently backhand these hapless fools uh, when they're filming stuff like this. You know, if it's amazing with the threat of a heated smack across the mouth, people were a lot less inclined to be public douchebags to one another. All right, finally, some logical new laws. Okay, let's move on. Wes, are you okay if we just jump into this interview? Well, my name now is Wes Dawson 3000. Well, that's a stupid name. What do you know? You'll be dead centuries before this is even a thing. Sure, but objectively, it's still a dumb name. And wait, if you're still alive, why am I dead? You're so dumb. All right, moving on. Uh, one of my most 
frequently asked questions uh, from my fans when I'm delving into the future is, have the Montreal Canadiens finally won a Stanley Cup? Well, it's been a difficult few centuries, uh, mostly due to the NHL conspiracy against the Canadians, but I have a feeling next season, it's their year for sure. Well, it's a very different world now, you realize, because Quebec is finally separated. They were so determined to preserve their pure blood, they built a wall around Quebec that would make St. Trump proud. Either way, they started building their wall about 400 years ago. Uh, work on the entrance gates are slated to start next summer. Uh, basically, it's just a bunch of orange pylons circling the province of Quebec. Okay, well, how do you visit Quebec then? You don't. Okay, well, what about us? What, what are we doing? Uh, if it's 1,500 years into the future, why are we around? Are we still recording Gabagool and Aid? What's, what's going on? By the year 2100, basically most citizens are just professional goons for the state powered by free grainy porn and Red Bulls. Wait a minute. You're telling me it's 1,500 years into the future and free porn is still grainy? You figured the baseline would be like 4K by then. Hey. Dude, it's not a fantasy fucking world, okay? Anyway, since then, Gabagoni has become the sole news source of the Western world. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you just say? Is that not synonymous with the fall of Western civilization? No, yeah, pretty much. We talked about that on episode 3 of season 2. It was released a couple of years ago. Well, the future doesn't seem so bright after all. Damn, I was hoping for, like, flying cars, the fall of social media, and commercial time travel. Though I know time travel isn't real, even by your time. How could you be so sure of that? Hey, I know that commercial time travel will not be invented within my lifetime. You know, I've been single for years and I have yet to travel back for a weekend and fuck myself silly. Or at least give myself a conciliatory handy, Jay. No, you do got a point there, because if there was that commercial time travel, you know your boys got you back. If that shit does come around anytime soon, I got a message for ourselves. Run the bath and keep a candle by the window. <laughs> oh, you naughty boy. <laughs> you know it. Uh, not to judge, but does that make us gay or at least bi if we're doing that? Um, I'm not sure, and why are you saying that like it's inherently a bad thing? I didn't say that. Okay, then let me pose this question. Let's suppose it is inherently gay to travel through time and have sex with yourself. I see it as more like meta-masturbation, but whatever. Would you consider it more of an offense to have a deep, passionate, steamy love affair with myself in an alternate timeline, or to clone myself and do the same thing? Was the clone made purely for sexual gratification? Yeesh. What if I clone myself as a woman? Okay, you know what? With questions like that, this is why it is now legal to tase dumb people. Wait, how do you know who the dumb ones are? They don't get a taser. Okay, since we are running out of time for this week's episode, uh, just maybe shoot at any interesting facts, anything you can think of from the future that might be pertinent for us, or you know, things that you do for fun. One fact I, I thought you might find interesting is how Time Magazine's Person of the Year for the past 150 years has been cell phone cameras. No amount of legislation, oversight, politicians, promises, or fucking mood stones could do what a cell phone camera has done over the past few millennia. It's made the people who carry guns and can legally kill you accountable for their actions, or to expose racists. That's still pretty popular. Wow, that is really something else. Well, West Austin awesome 3000, this was a blast. It was very informative. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day, and please keep that walkie-talkie charged as we may need to contact you again in the future. Absolutely no problem anytime, and uh, hey, like I always say, if you're looking for something interesting to do, tear the fucking walls out of your house, maybe you'll find some kind of magical device too. Or you'll just have a great renovation project to start afterwards. All right, Wes, thank you so much. No problem, Wes. Take care. Well, that was truly something else. What an amazing interview. Truly something special. I think I may be a contender for guest of the year in 2022 as well as host of the year. This is a wonderful start to 2022. Remember, it is never too late to turn your life around, be a better person, and 
try and fix this hellscape we're living before we end up in this dystopian future that we just heard a little bit about. So my name is Wes Dawson on behalf of myself, Gab Goulnate, and Wes Dawson 3000, which I still attest is the dumbest name I've ever heard. Thank you for listening. Please listen, like, share, and subscribe.